I want to, first of all, I want to thank the press that is here for coming. You know, what usually happens when you have a controversial subject like this and the administration doesn't want the issue to get any attention, what they do is they'll schedule a press conference at the same time. Well, I understand there's a press conference going on in the Red Room at the same time to try and pull away the press from us and from the workers of Stella Dora. Yeah, let's change! 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 We're glad that you're here, and we're glad that this is being covered. This is an absolute disgrace. We have 136 workers, union workers, who are going to lose their jobs when Stella Doro closes tomorrow. And it's been bought out by a company that's going to move the name and the machinery to Ohio. To make matters worse, if it can be worse than that, the city and the state gave Stella Doro money to keep them here by per helping purchase new machinery. That's taxpayer dollars of New Yorkers that is now going to be moved to Ohio. That is an absolute disgrace. And shame on the city of New York for allowing this to happen. We're here today to say these union jobs have to be protected. Stella Doro should remain in the city and in the Bronx. Yes. And the city of New York should move immediately, immediately, to issue a court injunction to stop this move from happening based upon the fact that taxpayer dollars were used to buy the machinery. There's got to be a requirement in that agreement that they stay here and that that equipment operates in the city of New York for a certain amount of years. Now, to date, nobody's been able to get a copy of this agreement when the city, in fact, and the state gave them money. That's also unacceptable. These are public documents. The groups involved here have foiled the city and have not gotten satisfaction yet. My office actually started the same procedure earlier last week. But as this administration, the Bloomberg administration, has done on too many occasions, they'll just make you go to court to get this information. It's a disgrace. And I stand here with Assemblyman Rivera, with all the union executives and members that are here, to say we should do everything in our power to stop this happening from tomorrow and to keep this machinery which is the leverage we really have in the city of New York and make the new, the new owners of Stella Doro stay in the Bronx in the city of New York and protect the union jobs and get these people back to work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.